WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update. We got a bit of a mixed bag. That mixed bag today coming from the NASDAQ and the semis. They're down 49 and 36 points, respectively. Otherwise, U.S. indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up 325 points. That's 1% move. Three tenths for the S&P are 14 points. A little over 1% for the Russell. 21 points there. 369 points. That's two and a third, two and three tenths percent for the trannies. Gold's up 30 bucks, one and five tenths percent. Silver's up 1% or 27 cents. Light sweet crude is, uh, let me change this to the September contract here. Sorry about that. U23. Got light sweet crude up a buck five. That's one to four tenths percent. Let me get uh, natural gas, do the same thing. Natural gas is up eight pennies, trading out of 258. And the 30 year treasury up 18 ticks, printed out at 127.04. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. We're trading above yesterday's high. Things are just simply bullish out here. We do need a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Spot volatility still below its 50 day exponential moving average. That always puts the wind at the sales. Not always, but the majority of the time it puts the wind at the sales of the buyers of the bulls. The NQ, no topping pattern. As of yet, a bearish reversal candle would confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Otherwise, price continues to move higher. U.S. dollar indexes may form a TD9 count pattern tomorrow. We'll have to come back and take a look at it. But if we were to see a bullish reversal candle today, and you could see a hammer candle, well, that would confirm a buy the D point pattern. Goldilocks targeting the top of its weekly profile, 1995.60. That likely will be the end of the initial move for gold. So I expect that we'll see gold top uh, tomorrow or the uh, following day and then we'll probably take a look at a, a two bar a two day uh, pullback out there silver right now is trading above a new profile that is attempting to form attempting because i'm using my advanced doppler tool here but right now sellers are lined up at 2528 you've got price printing out at uh, 2531 a close above that, and I think price is going to do this anyway. It's going to make its way up to 2602. Now, whereas gold has a topping pattern, silver does not. Lights we crude. Lights we crude consolidating with inside its new profile support down at 72.34. Resistance up at 77.15. Natural gas. I can't make hay of this. I think that right now what we're seeing is so far the move today is a counter trend move right up to the center of that bullish structured profile. We saw three consecutive closes below that profile. We could really be looking at A to B equals CD to the downside in natural gas. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.